In the beginning, I was making dance music because I thought that's what I had to do because I was DJing. I always felt very boxed in with it. I just felt like there was a very set formula for how you had to make music. I was really grateful to be inside during the pandemic and have all this time to focus on how I want to create. Now I'm just trying to find the sweet spot of integrating electronics and sort of more classical composition. My name is Fazia and I am a musician and DJ from London. My earliest experience with music production actually came from studying it in college. I originally wanted to do music, but because I wasn't formally trained in an instrument, I was told that I could go down the music production route. What's really sad about wanting to be a musician, especially if you're coming from working class backgrounds, access to that sort of thing is quite gatekept. So I only started learning more traditional composition in the last two years. I was able to go to Guildhall and study orchestration, formally learn the piano for like a year. And yeah, this is a very recent pivot. The sample pack really starts off in sort of club music because that's where I was at during the time. As I was making sounds for it, it's kind of naturally progressed and evolved. And now has a lot of club sounds, a lot of contemporary classical sounds, ambient sounds. So I'm really happy with how it's all come together. It has a range of synths, drum loops, like that I feel can be really great starting points. For my pack, I use a lot of the OB6 because of the fact that you can easily make your own presets. It's quite straightforward to use. I find it to be a great machine because it's very intuitive. I used some of my Pulsar 23, which was a new addition, but I really enjoy because you can really have freedom with the sort of drum sounds you want to make. With my Lyra, I think there might be a couple sounds in the pack that I actually ran my acoustic guitar into and I really enjoy the sort of delay on here. And then I would say a lot of the pack was used, the subharmonicon and DFAM combination, which is really great because Moo give you patch books that you can use to sort of have as starting points, but it's really great how they interact with each other. One thing that I really enjoyed about the subharmonicon in this process, uh, I learned how to tune it to certain scales and actually use it as a synthesizer and got really nice chords and textures from it. So here I have my subharmonicon, which I really enjoy because you can tune all the oscillators in whatever notes you want, so sometimes I'll have it in a certain scale. I originally got the DFAM and when the subharmonicon came out, it's just like I needed to have it as a combination. And yeah, it's really fun. It's like very different machines, but yeah, there's a lot that you can do with it. Sometimes I will use a MIDI controller and plug it in and just like produce chords, which you'll hear a lot of in the sample pack. Um, but right now, I'm using the Parallel's new workout module uh, to trigger uh, and just like use as a sequencer for the subharmonicon. So I have all of that going into first my LVX pedal, which I have recently got. Um, I kind of like it, it's like a granular delay type of machine. Um, and then that's going into the microcosm, which I've had for a minute. But yeah, I just like sort of the spacey, granular things that you can do with them and I often use them with a lot of my synths.
I wouldn't really say that there's a difference between my approach to sound design for more classical contemporary music and electronic music. I think my approach to music making as a whole is very much intuitive. A lot of this sample pack is sort of based on that, is just very much sounds that I feel reflect me, that I feel really connected to. What makes music unique and when I'm hearing music and I feel connected to is the fact that you can feel the person in the music. And so that's what I've tried to do in all of the sample pack through using cello or my OB6 or my pulsar. Here we have my OB6 which is like my dream synth and I'm really happy that I have it. So I feel like it is quite a easy synth to use and quite straightforward but also it has so many amazing presets. I don't think I've even gotten through all the presets that they have. And then um, I'm currently actually running it into my mood pedal by Chase Bliss which is like my obsession. I'm obsessed with Chase Bliss. Um, I like running piano or something to it and just kind of recording, so. One thing that I'd really love to get across in this is the fact that I don't know what I'm doing most of the time. I don't really set out to make music with, I need to make something and it's gonna sound like this and it's gonna be like this and it's gonna have this texture or this personality. Everything I do genuinely is just from intuition. That was my whole process throughout all of it. I think the only thing that was important to me when I was doing it was just to have a range of sounds that reflected all of my interests. I would say the biggest challenge I faced making this pack was finishing. At the time that I was asked to do this, it was during a time where I didn't actually believe in myself and my skill sets yet. I felt very overwhelmed because I was like, I don't know how to do the things that people are asking me to do. And I guess that kind of goes back to my point of um, information and knowledge being gate kept from people and you thinking because you don't know X, Y, Z that you're not talented enough to do this or because you don't know how this machine works then you shouldn't do this. The only way I was able to finish it was to become more confident in myself as a musician and be like actually I do know what I'm doing and just because I don't have the language as some people do doesn't mean that I'm not as skilled just do what you like, what sounds you love, and hopefully that shines through to everyone. <laughs>